Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victory 2 as the Confederate States in our Confederate States campaign. It's April 10th, 1890 and uh, we are industrializing, militarizing, all sorts of stuff is going on here. Um, the United States, however, has remilitarized, so I'm not actually sure if we will ever be able to declare war in the United States and beat him on our own. He's got a way larger population than we do, which makes things difficult for me. It makes it difficult to try and attack them. Nevada integration? Yeah. So, I, I'm trying to consider... Ooh, it actually looks like the United States has made states of all these territories in the West. Okay, so they're no longer colonial states, so it's actually going to be pretty expensive to start taking stuff from him. So, our job has been made infinitely more difficult. Good to know. Good to know. At least on the, on the mean, you know... On one hand, we do have uh, a nice navy coming along, though. We're building some uh, some steamer transports and some you know some steamer shipyards and factories and all sorts of good stuff. So we will be going to war here probably pretty soon. We're just we're waiting for this um, infamy to tick down. Apparently, Haiti is no longer in the United States sphere. Interesting. Perhaps we invade. Perhaps we invade. Hmm. Would not be a bad idea. Um, I can invade Honduras and Costa Rica and some other places. Hmm. Hmm. It's not... It's not impossible. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do about this, um... Uh, about these wars, though. Because I, I do need to fight some wars to expand, but the question is how? How do we expand? How many soldiers do we have? We have 145,000 soldiers in this Confederate States. Damn. That's impressive. What's our, uh, what's our combat with? 23. So this is, uh, 8 in the front row. Let's grab... We have 9, 10, 11, 12, all the inventory. Send those guys down south. It's 5 and 3. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, we'll leave the artillery then. Let's try and organize our... our uh, Oh, those are engineers. That's right. Those are engineers. Oh, that's fine then. Engineer. Well, engineers are in the back row. That is true. Hmm. What about these guys? We've got 14, 1, and 10. With these artillery, it's 14, 1, and 13. So it's 15 combat width. So technically, I would need more infantry. And I'm building... Um, I need more inventory now then. We'll get regulars. Okay. Yeah, so we want to try and optimize our stacks maybe a little bit. We don't want too many cavalry. They're not too useful in this stage of the game. They're okay. One artillery, though. We have plenty of artillery in this back row. How many engineers do I have? One? How many engineers do I have here? Three? Let's grab two for the other stack. So essentially, we have two stacks of troops. Unraveling reform. Bloody reactionaries. I'm sure there's a compromise that can be found. Famine strikes a state. Uh, yeah, we must aid those starving. Sounds like a uh, socialist thing to do. 11, 2, and 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have one extra person in the back line. Which means I need more inventory. Hmm. Okay. We just got our, uh... Let's go for machine guns. We just got our um, research tech. 
Look at the amount of money we are making. My god. Spending's all the way at the top. We're spending just so much money, and yet we make so much money. A lavish exhibition. Sounds good. Holy crap. The United States has an enormous military. They are anti-military, though. And we are pro-military. <clears throat> Fourteen, one, and fifteen. So I need more cavalry here. Um, all right then. Send military relief to those who need our aid. Let's grab a Jagoon. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So this is 11, 2, and 14. So I have one too many. Well, I guess I get rid of um, an artillery then. What about a mobile artillery? Get rid of him. And we'll grab, I guess, infantry instead. Hey, respectable the world's fair. Marvelous. Long live the Confederate States. We got a core. We're getting cores here. Now we're getting cores here. Beautiful. That is what I desire. Population growth is still pretty slow, however. It's unfortunate. Wish it was faster. Ooh, General Robert E. Lee just died. Live in peace, you great warrior. You've done good. You've done good. You've done good. You've done good by Virginia. You can do something to Paraguay, increase the opinion. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, you can go up north. Wasn't I just raising a cavalryman? I swear, I just, I just wanted to train up a dragoon. Weird. Wow, we have 96,000 men over there. We have plenty of soldiers. So the Americans have finally caught up to his military tag. So that's scary. Worries me dearly. Steamer convoys. Our factories are not yet online, apparently. Steamer shipyards are going to be finishing up. I guess they take a while to build. Are we are we making fuel? Hmm. Apparently, somebody built a fuel refinery in West Virginia. <laughs> what else are we producing in our country? Um. So we produce ninety two point one units of oil. We produce eighty nine point three units of fuel. That's impressive. What do we export then? Shares, fabric, and cement. We import sugar, tea, and shoes. So shoes we might want to produce, but I guess we'll just leave it up to the uh, capitalists and the rest of those people. Marxist slaves. In the plantation fields, the international is beginning to be sung as loudly and frequently as the old slave spirituals. What the fuck? A number of literate slaves have begun spreading a socialist philosophies of Marx and Engels and the vision of a world without social classes. They draw a parallel between the plot of the European proletariat and that of the Confederate slave population. Oh my god, dude. That's so weird. This is not a vanilla event. When they intend, it should be obvious, and it means no good for a traditional way of life. C 
crack down on these socialist, socialist influences. Oh my god, man. That's so weird. <laughs> That's the most bizarre thing ever. Alright, whatever you say. Military parade. Let our neighbors fear our might. So we're gonna get machine guns, and then we can grab... Hmm, actually, what is next? I think industry, perhaps. Electricity, advanced metallurgy, assembly line... Ooh, coal! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I would like coal. Although nobody lives here. It's weird. There's nobody that lives in this province. It's a deserted place. If you want some pensions, we will give it to them. El Salvador. Prestige, please. So the truce with the Americans is over. Now, we have to justify a war to take something from them. The question is, do we go to war anyway? I don't know. I don't know if the, um... Apparently we got a humiliation CB against Mexico. Like, I, I don't know if we fight a war... I don't know if I can beat the Americans or not. Oh my god, they took machine guns too! You fucks. I mean, they have a much larger military than I do. They have way more manpower than I do. They are getting ridiculous population growth. Oh my god. They are growing so, so fast. Holy crap. I really don't want to cut down on the uh, the draft because I need these men. I need these men. I guess we'll protect minority rights, sure. But damn, this is going to be difficult. What do we do? How do we defeat the Americans now? I guess with British support, that's that's the best I got. I can try it. I don't know how far we'll get. I can get a national conference. 25 prestige for 11,000 research points. Wow. That's quite a bit. I'll save that for a rainy day. The light of democracy. Sure. Let's see, what to do, what to do. Las Vegas is integrated into the Confederate States. Beautiful. Beautiful. Peru. Let's keep running soldiers just everywhere because we're gonna need them. What are relations like between the U.S. and the and the British? They hate each other. Uh, Canada and the United States like each other, though. Okay. That could be an issue. If the British don't join us in this war, we may not be able to do very much against the Americans. Hmm. 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 Population growth is increasing, though. Immigration is actually going pretty crazy. But dude, look at this. Look at these numbers. Wow. Americans are growing so quickly. Oh, 
Look at their industrial score. It's incredible. They have such manpower. Such incredible manpower. I don't know. I don't know the way to defeat them. Hmm. I could try to attack Mexico, but the British won't join in that. Nitroglycerin. Let's go for... Hmm. Neoclassical theory would give me research points. Sure, why not? I'm gonna go for atheism. Let's try and keep the uh, socialists in power. I think they'll probably be in power for the rest of the game. I think. Nitroglycerin. Orderly election, thank God. We just did 3 million people. Okay. Or, or 3 million adult men. State capitalism? Yeah. I think so. More commies. Hmm. 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 So if we declare war on the United States, we also declare war on Mexico. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. Let's find out. Support the socialists. Protectionism, jingoism. Looks like people want the draft to go away. I will refuse. I need the draft. Okay, so if we declare war, if we were to declare war, I guess we'd go for like Colorado or, I don't know, maybe we should start taking important states. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. Those are pretty important states to take. We would cut the US in two. I can't take Pennsylvania. I say we try and go after these. So say I wanted to go for Illinois. Say I wanted to go for Chicago, Illinois. 53 war score. When the hell did I become allied to the Croatia and the Dominicans? When the f what? What? Was anybody to tell me this occurred? When did I, when did I, what? Okay, anyway, apparently we're allied to those guys. The British would join me in the war. The British would join me against the Americans. Um, now, they would have war, they would have the uh, control of the war goal. They would call the shots. So, do we declare a war now? Is there another time to do this? Oh my god, 80 regiments? Holy crap. I can raise 20 regiments. He has 80 standing regiments. And we have equal military tech. Oh, that's scary, dude. Um, Yeah, I think we will declare war. It's, it's 1893 right now. I think we'll declare war and see what we can take from the Americans. Take just we'll, we'll probably take some of the big states, some of the important states, Illinois, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we'll finish up here in the west and then we'll go to the east. But I will declare war in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.